you got into a fight with someone and you've been so certain that you know exactly what they said. We're here to show you that memory can be very misleading. Can you ever be that certain that you know what the person said? Please look at the words that will be presented in front of you and try to remember them. Please write down the words from the list that you recognize seeing before. Okay, so the words are bed, rest, tired, wake, blanket, sleep, <laughs> slumber, peace, yawn, and drowsy. Sleep wasn't even on the list. You've been a victim of false memory. What the? wondering why some people came up with the word sleep when it never really occurred in the list. And this is because we form associations in our mind. For example, if I told you the word nap and slumber and dream and yawn, you might realize that all these words are associated to one thing. And that is sleep. Your mind forms a web of words. And all of these words are associated with sleep. So while you're thinking about them, you think that the word sleep actually occurred in the list shown. In the process of remembering, we form associations. Sometimes those associations are so strong that we're susceptible to remembering things that never occurred, such as remembering writing down a word that we've never seen that was associated to other words. Now I'll go over the methods that we used when we conducted our experiment. First, we approached the subject and asked them whether or not they wanted to be a part of our study. Once they agreed, the subject was then asked to look at a PowerPoint slideshow that consisted of a list of 10 different words that were each presented on an individual slide and shown to at even intervals of 1.5 seconds. The subject was then given 60 seconds to recall the words by writing them down on a piece of paper that was provided. During the experiment, we're going to be using either recognition or recall. But the concept behind the experiment is the, the idea that you have two ways of remembering um, a certain item, or if it's an item in the list, and that's either going to be an audio chronological loop, and the basic, like, that just the repetition of the words in your head. So if you see a list of words, you're just repeating them like constantly in your head. So if somebody gives you a number, it's 546, 546, 546. And the other way of remembering things is through a mental schema. And so you can imagine this as a big web in which um, all the associated words are all the cross points of the web. When you're given these words, especially in recognition, which is part of our hypothesis, um, the, the, the lines of the web are going to light up and they're going to lead to a single target word. And so our hypothesis is that in recognition, you're going you're gonna to see this target word as part of them and it's going to light up even more and you're, gonna, you're more prone to say the target word. Whereas in recall, you're not as prone. What we're doing is a 2x2 two two ANOVA. And this is because we are testing the effect of recall and recognition on list words and target words. So as you can see, there are two factors here and two factors here. So it's a 2x2 two two ANOVA. And because there are two factors, it's a 2 way ANOVA as well. We expect a main effect between target words and list words, and we also expect a main effect in the type of task, which is recall versus recognition. We also expect that there will be an interaction between the two. Although we think our experiment was super awesome, there may still be variables that can confound with our results. Uh, one of them being that the participants can get bored or tired during the study because we're doing it uh, several times and they could just be inputting in random words or random answers. Um, the second one is that the participants might know, like have an idea of what false memory is, so they'll be looking for the target word in advance instead of
just going through the study like they have no idea of what it is. After conducting the experiment, we found that there was a main effect between recall and recognition. That means that there is a significant difference between the results. We found that there was no main effect between list words and target words. That means the ratio compared was not was not statistic statistically significant. Was not. We found that there was a main interaction effect between list words and target words and recall and recognition.